In Pit Lane is proudly brought to you by DinoTech by Dino Dynamics. For your nearest workshop, visit our website. And with the support of the Ramada Resort, Phillip Island. <laughs> The Performance Racing and Tuning Council is a specialist industry council of the Australian Automotive Aftermarket Association. The PRTC was formed to provide advice, understanding and a strategic approach to current and potential performance racing and tuning market issues. Ben Bartlett is the convener of the council and we caught up with him at the recent Australian Auto Aftermarket Expo at the Sydney Convention Centre. Yeah, the Performance Racing and Tuning Council, or PRTC, its role is to represent the high performance and motorsport market in Australia, to give it a voice to government, to make sure that from a business perspective that we can continue to grow and develop this market. So what sort of contribution does the sector make overall? We heard from uh, earlier in the day from Stuart about the uh, amount of economic uh, activity generated by by the industry how much of that is generated by your sector yeah look certainly the performance racing and tuning industry we estimate to be worth between 800 and a billion dollars per year that does not include professional motorsport we're talking about street performance and amateur motorsport so it's a significant proportion do you think that uh, everybody in the, out in the public, I mean even those taking part, would be aware of those sort of figures? Oh, by no means. I think there's a perception that a high performance motorsport is just a really fast V8 car. It's not. There is so much more to it. It's an, it's an amazing industry and an exporting industry as well. So what about your role in lobbying governments? We've heard uh, over the past few months and over the last year or so increasing problems for people who want to mo modify their cars whether it's on the road or people who want to take part in grassroots motorsport in terms of modifying modern motor ma uh, automotive machines what is uh, what's what can you do to, to assist those people look it's really our role to try to bring some common sense into those discussions. I mean, we had some issues with emissions testing in Western Australia. As an industry, we support emissions testing on the premise that it's actually done in a fair and equitable way, and it wasn't. So we lobbied government for change, and it was changed. We've got more issues coming, issues relating to vehicles with ESC. We've had issues with vehicles fitted with superchargers, but I can say the PRTC will be front and centre to make sure that common sense is at play when these uh, policies are written. You mentioned how much this particular sector contributes to the overall economic development. Uh, what about the export market? I mean, what are the potential? What's the potential there for Australian industry? Oh, look, there's significant potential. Australian manufactured high performance and motorsport products are some of the most respected in the world, and there's a little market called North America which has got tremendous potential. We've been leading a mission there for about five years, and we're going back this year in 2013 to the PRI show, and we'd expect to have 15 to 20 Australian companies, which will be the largest international pavilion at the show so we see huge potential in, in the North American market however there's also opportunities in other markets including ASEAN um, and and Europe including Eastern Europe. One of the strengths that we used to have was always the, uh, the the weakness of our dollar compared with the American dollar that's all changed now I mean has that been a major blow to a lot of Australian companies? It's been a challenge and certainly you interview some of the exporters and their finding margins are reducing rapidly because of the dollar but the fact of the matter is particularly in high performance and motorsport Real enthusiasts want real performance, they want real stopping power, they want real, real ride. And to do that they need the best parts. If we offer those best parts then there is a price premium they will pay. But it is certainly a challenge with the dollar the way it is. You mentioned the PRI show and its important role in moving into that North American market and there are similar shows particularly in Europe you, but you also mentioned Asia we were in uh, in Ordos last year and we were just stunned at the incredible growth of motorsport over there the professionalism and the money is just incredible how do we get into that market? Look there's a lot of work being undertaken at the moment by um, our organisation to look at opportunities in ASEAN we see Malaysia from a high performance in motorsport as a potential but there's also a, a growing middle class in countries like Indonesia Asia and Thailand that and we know as the middle class glow as the middle class grows we certainly see more high performance and motorsport enthusiasts come out of that so what we're trying to do is facilitate our members uh, entering those markets educating them on those markets and trying to find the opportunities for them. For those members of the input lane viewing audience who are in the, uh, the the tuning area and workshops and all that what are the advantages of joining a group like PRTC? Basically what we want to do is give uh, members of our industry uh, information about what firstly from what they can and can't do from a, from a regulatory perspective give them networking opportunities tonight we had an event with nearly 100 people in the performance industry it's a great chance to meet and greet and get a feel for what the industry is actually doing 
Plus, we do industry surveys. Get a, you want to get a feel for where you sit in the marketplace. And then we talked about uh, export support. We lobby government for rebates and support for, uh, for exhibitions. And that, that support goes directly back to the members. So if people want to find out more about the PRTC, where would they go on the internet? It's pretty easy. Go to www.prtc.com.au. OK, well, Ben, uh, thanks for having us here this uh, year again. Good luck for uh, 2013 and beyond. But for now, thanks for joining us in Pit Lane. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Why should you get your car tuned with a Dynotech Dyno? Your car will be more fuel efficient. An accurate tune means saving money at the pump. Your car is safe. It never has to leave the workshop to be tested. Increased performance. Optimise fuel consumption and more power. Reduced emissions. Protect the environment by minimising your carbon footprint. To find your nearest Dynotech workshop, go to www.dyno.com.au. Dynotech by Dynodynamics.